Hey, what's up, guys? This is Incredible Badass here, coming at you guys in my first tutorial ever. And um, I got a question uh, from Ippy Dolphin, and he was wondering to get a tutorial. And I said, if you guys wanted a tutorial, uh, I'd do it. So yeah, um, basically, this is a pretty cool transition that I did. Um, it's, in my opinion, I, I've never seen it before anywhere else, so I believe it's original. Uh, if it's not, correct me, I guess, but, uh, it feels like an original effect, because I've really never seen it anywhere else. But, um, it looks pretty cool when you use it on Vegas, uh, because this is a Vegas tutorial. And, uh, yeah, let me show you guys the effect. So yeah, um, the transition between uh, the live gameplay and the kill cam right here, that was a pretty cool effect, and I liked it a lot, and it's pretty simple to make, and I'm going to show you guys how to make that today. So if we just get rid of all this, okay, so uh, basically what you guys are going to want to do is drag your clip in, and um, first things first, you're going to want to find... Uh, the end point from where it, the gameplay transitions to the game winning kill cam. So uh, I'll watch the clip right now to see if I can find it. Okay, so right here is where it turns black and white, but you're gonna wanna, uh, depending on how long you want the effect to last, um, you're gonna split your clip. So I'm gonna say, let me go over it one more time and see where I can find it. Ah. Alright, so right here, I'm going to split my clip, and then I'm going to delete the rest. So now, um, all I have is basically the actual gameplay footage, and that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to drag my clip again, and then I'm going to find the point where that little black and white thing ends, so let's look. Okay, so right here it goes to the game winning kill cam, so I'm going to go frame by frame to make sure I get it exactly where it starts. Because uh, I'm a perfectionist, so I like to do stuff like that. Okay, so now I'm going to split my clip, clip again, and the same footage I had last time, I'm just going to delete that out. And I, now all I have is my actual gameplay footage and my round winning kill cam. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this footage in, and depending on how long I want the effect for is where I'm going to split it. So... I'm going to say, my, what I like to do is go at least like 14 seconds in, and you'll see why in a sec. So I'm going to go in 14 seconds right here, and now that I'm in 14 seconds, you can see it transitions uh, pretty smoothly, just like regularly on Vegas, so watch. So see, now it's just a regular transition on Vegas, and now what you're going to want to do is you're gonna, gonna, ah, you're going to want to go to the where that transition ends and split the clip right there so once you split the clip you're going to want to drag this clip in so that it transitions uh, like it should very smoothly uh, so put it for about 11 seconds uh, I, li I like 11 seconds because I feel like 11 seconds give it enough, gives it enough time to transition pretty smoothly um, and that's why I said to do 14 seconds at the beginning because some of that time will get cut off. Um, like let's say you want to do an 11 second long, then you know go a little bit ahead so that way it turns out to be um, all those seconds that get shaved off. Because if you try to do 14 seconds here, as you can see, it just equalizes so, or whatever. You know, it stays the same. It goes on top of the clip. So, anyways, now that you know how long your transition is going to be, you're going to drag the rest of your clip back in. So that way it transitions nice smoothly from the transition to regular gameplay footage. Just like that. You can't even notice that split, which is good. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this all out and go... Well, no, not really take it out, but uh, just leave it there. Go to TV Look. Uh, drag it in. And I already have a preset right there. It's called Transition. And basically what you're going to want to do is just copy these settings right now. The so see where it says um, transition right now? So detail zoom is going to be 1, aperture grill 0, interlacing 0, line sync 0, vertical sync you're going to want that all the way up to 1, 
and then scan phasing zero, fossil fear, whatever the hell, zero, and then static is zero. Uh, and that's basically the settings for the transition. And now that you have that dragged in, let's watch it one more time. And bam, you have the transition. So let's watch the clip one more time all together. Hit it again. Uh, I, think, I think you can keep this one though. Fuck on. And then right there, as you can see, uh, you'd probably add Twixter or whatever just to emphasize that last shot. Uh, but this isn't about Twixter. But yeah, I did that in my uh, video showcasing the effect. But anyway, guys, uh, that's how to do the cool static transition. That's what I'm going to call it, static transition effect. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.